Hey guys, how's it going? We're here. Facebook Live, Supercell. We're doing a Silver and Bronze Age bunch of stuff. Both maybe a little newer stuff. It's tough to say really what we're going to do. Uh, but I'm your host, Jason. I'm here all alone right now. All alone. So you're going to be a little patient with me. We'll get the stuff out here. We'll get the names put on it. We'll get everything going. Uh, I'm going to share this out, as you should as well, on your page. Like the page up top and, of course, share it out. We are going to be doing giveaways during the sell. Find the page here. It's going to be a good time. How is everybody today? I'll be checking your comments here in just a second. I would love to see some responses. Beautiful Thursday here in downtown London. Nice immediate temperature. All right. Turn down the phone. There we go. Thanks for the likes and shares, Inslee. Glad to see you on the feed, man. Haven't seen you in a bit. Some good books here. Of course, in the close-up window, that is $325. That is Fantastic Four issue number. Can't remember. Uh, it is 611. 611. This is a CGC certified signed comic hence the yellow uh, tag up top it is signed by ryan stegman artist on the book and and stanley creator of the fantastic four one of the creators of jack kirby but hey regardless stanley and ryan stegman double signed cgc slab it is $325. Only that, this is a variant cover. This is the Sujin G. Komen uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, this is the uh, variant cover with Sue Storm. And she has on uh, the white and pink um, for the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It is $325 for this signed 9.8. 9.8. Stan Lee and Ron Stegman signed slab. And I may not be seeing comments. I'm going to check the computer over here and see what's up. Yeah, I can't see comments in the slottest, apparently. So uh, you're going to have to forgive me on that. I'm going to check and see here if I can uh, get it to work on my phone. It's working on the computer. Just not on the old on the old phone right now. There we are. John Thompson just out and about. I liked it. Thanks for the likes and shares as well. All right, I'm put some stuff out on the board. Start things off nice and easy here. This is Doctor Strange, Master of the Mystic Arts. This is issue number 18, 30 cent cover price on this this dream no more that's going to be just five dollars i'm going to put that up in the a slot here this is the double-sized x-men issue 166 and there on the front you've got colossus Cyclops, Nightcrawler, Wolverine, Kitty Pride, and Lalandra from the Shi'ar Empire all taking on the Brood. We're going to put up the double-sized X-Men 166 at just $8. $8 for that. That's going to be in the B slot. Let me see if I'm missing some comments. I'm going to check some stuff out. All right. I think we got the same. Everybody who's on the feed right now, say hi in the feed. Let me see if I can see your comments because I'm not 100% sure this thing's working right. I'm going to have to reset this. I'm checking the computer and this at the same time. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to put out more books while I'm doing that.
And it was like everybody's comment was funny. Uh, all right, Aaron, Joanna, and John. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not seeing that on here. Ugh, so aggravating. All right, I'm going to reset this thing completely. See if I can bring it back up. Hassle. Facebook has been a hassle for us for the last few days. It's, uh, it's ridiculous, really. This is uh, Superboy, Superboy issue number 24 from the New Adventures of Superboy. I've been struck blind. I can only see with these glasses. And he's, he's not blind. He just has trouble. He's got faulty vision. I have faulty vision. I have contacts. At last, I know Clark Kent is really Superboy. Aha, I blind Superboy. Now I'll destroy him in this purple sedan. Bonus feature, a super baby flying saucer story. You get a lot in this. You get a lot in this book. Uh, but we're going to put it out for just 4 bucks. Superboy, issue 24. That is the C book for $4. Hey, Tommy, how's it going? Yeah, technology is great when it works. Mine seems to be working at the moment. But I could change it anytime. Anytime. When technology doesn't work, it cripples us completely to no end. All right, this is The Mighty Thor. The Mighty Thor issue 316. It is from 1981, side by side with the invincible Iron Man of beasts and things. Those are the beasts and the things, and there's uh, Iron Man and Thor. It's going to be $5 for The Mighty Thor issue 316. This is a uh, Silver Age book. This is Submarine Attack. Submarine Attack. Uh, Silver Age, one of the strangest assignments of the war. Don't miss this mission of daring courage. Coastal raid. Dude's on a submarine here trying to gun down this uh, fighter jet. Got some kids wrapped around his legs. It's going to make it tough for him. It's a Submarine Attack issue 37. It is going to be $6. $6 for Submarine Attack. Silver Age book. Mighty Thor for five to Robbie Cook. Thank you, Robbie. What did I do before? Before what? Before the fall of man? Before we had to fight in the wastelands over gasoline? I don't know. Now, I don't know. I don't know what we're talking about, Tommy. All right, Robbie, boom, you got that mighty Thor right there. Tech? Oh, it's been this tech. It's just Facebook's been messed up the last couple days. Facebook itself's working on stuff, and they just keep messing it up. Awesome. Who's typing awesome? Who is ghost? Who is phantom typing in the feed right now? Because I know it's not me. <laughs> this is Legion of Superheroes, issue 272. Legion of Superheroes 272. Wildfire, have you gone mad? He wants to become a Legionnaire, so let's see if he can survive my Mega Blast. That's right. Pays people if they want to be part of your group. It's five dollars for the Legion of Superheroes. It's the first time I actually seen that face thing. It's, it's actually kind of cool power. Takes open like a window, burns people with hot magma. Magma. All right, this is the Mighty Thor two ninety one forty cent cover on this. Odin and Zeus side by side against the Eternals and Thor. It's a pretty formidable team on both sides. Can even a thunder god prevail? He's not in this. Thor's, Thor's openly whipping him on the cover of this. Um, it is two ninety one. Don't hold me to my jacket, cat. I don't want you on my jacket. Here, 
Demetrius come to keep me company until we see him try to grab the light down. Uh, this is the Mighty Thor 291. It is in a little rougher shape. We're going to put it out for just $3. $3 for 291 Oh, Amy, okay. Oh, yeah, it won't a lot of times. It acts weird. Okay, that's cool. All right, Amy's on the feet. I dig it. Thor for three to James Smithers. Thank you, James. Church bells are a chime. I don't know if you guys can hear those on the feet or not. They're soothing. And they go for a long time. This is Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, number 26. It's a 35-cent issue. Marvel's TV sensation, blinded by the mask marauder, Spider-Man plunges to his doom to die in darkness. And there's Daredevil, like, hey, man, I'm blind. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's got some wear to it. We're going to put it out for just three bucks. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, 26. It is a little worn, but it's only three bucks. That's in the eye spot as well. Yes, I3, James, that's right. That's how I like it. Let's call it by the letter and the uh, price. It does make it easier on me uh, pulling out, especially some of these books. I'm going to have multiple of the same um, title out at one time probably, so it does make it easier with the letter. What's in the window, Tommy? That's Fantastic Four 611, signed by Stan Lee and Ryan Stegman. It is a 9.8. It's $325. This is the Mighty Thor, issue 321. Die, Thunder God. Rim Thursar commands it. I can't really argue with Rim Thursar. Madness is the menagerie, which is pretty cool. It's a bunch of anthropomorphic creatures. You got a snake guy, a bird chick. It has like a panther of some kind, maybe. And there's a uh, bull. So that's, that's cool. Thor's, uh, Thor's getting beat up by animals. It's the Mighty Thor 321. It's from 1982. That's going to be five bucks. It's going to be the H book. I'm going to put it right there. Put out an action comics. Superman starring in action comics. This is issue number 499. 499. Uh, 40 cent cover. What will the menace still do as the world turns for the last time? We'll get prepared to be dejected straight off the planet at 3,000 miles an hour. Because uh, that's what would happen. The world's coming to an end, Superman. Take us with you. You can't leave Earth without us. Don't abandon us to our doom. <laughs> He's just... He doesn't have a smile on his face, but he doesn't seem that upset. All right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We're going to put this out for just $4. This is Action Comics 499. This is going to be the G book for four dollars. H5 to James Smithers. Thank you, James. This is Spider-Woman issue number two. Really early Spider-Woman. Second startling issue. You think your powers are deadly. Feel the awesome might of Excalibur. Well, Excalibur's pretty powerful. Um, this is Spider-Woman to Nowhere Is to Fear. 35 cent cover from 1978. Issue two. And it is in uh, fine to very fine condition. It looks good. It looks good. It's going to be $7. Spider-Woman number two. 
All right, now that I can see everybody's comments, see what's up in the world, how is everybody's day today? Anybody got any cool stories? Anything awesome to tell us? This is Tales of the Titans starring the Changeling, which, of course, is Beast Boy, is issue number three of Tales of the Titans. Here they are, the sensational secrets of Garfield Logan. Secrets like his first name is Garfield. Uh, it is $3 for that one. Go back to the after spot. And this is The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 207, 207, uh, from 1980, The Final Curtain. Spidey on the front. Stay fine condition on this. Amazing Spider-Man, 207, 40 cent cover for just $10. You can get it at the book right there, or the eBay. I mean, right there. Day off, working on Firebird. I thought for a second it said you were working on Freebird, and I was like, good luck, man. That's a tough song, probably. But uh, working on a Firebird, awesome. Sounds good. If your day looks anything like our day, it's a nice one. Nice one to be doing anything. What's up, Jose? How's it going, man? Find a good price tag here. All right. We got a lot of good stuff out on the board right now. And I'm probably going to start taking some of it down. So let's see what we got. This is the Doctor Strange issue 18. Issue 18 of Doctor Strange. I'll mark that down one time. To just three dollars, Doctor Strange issue eighteen for free. It's gonna be in the A spot. Not bad, ma'am. Not bad at all. It's issue of X Men. X Men one sixty six. I mark this down to six dollars for this double issue X Men one sixty six. It's gonna be in the B slot right there. A three to Kingpin. How's it going, man? Get that for you. How's New York? How's uh, the hand situation? Oh, sorry, James. Just missed that one. All right. Thank you, sir. This is Detective Comics, issue 488. 488. Five all-new tales featuring the entire Batman family. The Spook's death sentence for Batman, plus Batgirl, back to Congress, or back to the streets. Robin, battling campus kidnappers. Extra, the elongated man, and a special surprise. And here you have Batman on the front, this hooded fellow, you know, on the, hey, put, put this guy in this electric chair. And the kind of the ghost of Robin and Batgirl looking on. Weird. Five dollars for Detective Comics 488. It's going to be in the A spot. All right, I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear that you, most of you guys are doing pretty good. I imagine if you weren't, watching a comic sale would probably not be high on your list of priorities if your life was falling down into shambles. But still, I like hearing that you guys are having, having good times. Things are going good for you. I see you guys on here a lot, so it's almost like I know you. Dimitri just took out of this chair and went to lay in this other chair. He's very chair-specific on what he feels like during the, what time of the day it is. here for four superboy for four dollars superboy didn't sell for four dollars well this is long i'm gonna go on that we'll drop that down mm. 
This is Action Comics issue 354. 12 cent Silver Age issue of Action. So you want to fight, Captain Incredible? How do you like my Sunday punch? Ooh, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good name for a move, Superman. Sunday punch. Ho hum, Superman. I haven't felt a thing yet. There you go. Stronger, swifter, and more invulnerable than Superman. Meet that puny powerhouse, Captain Incredible. I'm going to tell you right now, puny would make sense. I feel like if Superman actually existed, why wouldn't he look more like me? If he gets his powers legitimately from the sun, it's not from muscle. Why would he be muscled up? Why would he need muscles? He's super strong because of the sun. Hey, whatever. should look more like Spider-Man. This is Action Comics 354 for $12. Oh, that sucks, George. Sorry, man. You missing anything that we can hook you up with? Thank you, Michael. I appreciate the likes and shares. Go ahead and have the J. Ooh, submarine attack for six bucks. Mm. Let's try it at four. <coughs> These war books aren't like marking down a whole lot. Four dollar for submarine attack, twelve cent silver age. Got everything in the pre sale. Sweet. Peter Parker, issue twenty six for three dollars. I'm gonna take that down. This is the Emerald Warrior, the Green Lantern. It is issue number 155. And on the front, it's really nice because it does have the entire oath on the front out of the ring. In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern's light on the front. Really cool cover. Really cool cover. That you can own for just $6. That's going to be the iBook. J4, the Kingpin. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, man. Redneck is so good, dude. You're going to like it. I think you're going to like it. I think most people would like it. This is Our Fighting Forces, The Losers. Number 149. Come on, losers. It's Ona. We found her at last. Well, she's there, but she has all these Nazis behind her. Eh, so that's something. We're going to put it out for $5. There's some wear to it. This is Marvel Team Up, issue number four. Number four, early Marvel Team Up, and it looks great. It's a black book, so naturally with that black early, you can see any type of damage. There's a little bit of wear up here at the top, but not much. Overall, the cover looks great. It does have some wrinkling down here as well, and a little bit of spine wear. I'm not going to mark it as high as it could be for a number four. Uh, Spider-Man and the X-Men, they're back in all new, all great action. And uh, Cyclops trying to blast him. And uh, this time you push this too far, wall crawler. Awesome man's trying to freeze him. Things are happening. Um, Angel's trying to pull his web down. Jean Grey's the only one making sense. Put that for just six dollars, also, in the H spot right here. Spider Woman issue two. I'm going to mark down to five dollars and put that in the G spot. I'm going to take down the action comics for four. 
H6 to Kingpin. Thank you, Kingpin. That's a good book, man. We picked up a couple of pretty good uh, collections in the last couple of days. And, um, you know, usually we try to try to offer them up to you guys first before we kind of move them to the bins or the website. Kingpin, you got that issue? Thank you. Oh, this is some 80s goodness right here. Fans of action figures and toys in the 80s. This is one for you. This is the Saga of Crystar, the Crystal Warrior. Feature-length fantasy in the Marvel Manor. Awesome painted cover here. Uh, it's issue number one from 1983, and it was two dollars at the time because it is oversized. Like it's a big, it's a big comic. Um, Crystar, of course, came out. I, I want to say Rimco did it. So much like the Warlord figures, which also were kind of like the He-Man figures. Crystar. We're going to put this issue number one out for, uh, I got this tag laying here. We'll put this out for uh, $6. $6 for Chris Star number one. Put that in the H spot. What's up, Jason Dugal? How's it going, man? Go here for five for Spider Woman. Here we go. For three dollars here, the changeling, I'm gonna take that down. I'm gonna pick up this book that was not open. That's cool. Alright. I'm gonna put up ROM from Marvel Comics. ROM issue 33. 60 cent cover on this. And uh, there's this woman, she's running from this well, it's not like a wolf type panther. There's a sh evil presence behind her and a mansion. And then there's ROM. It's weird, it looks like a horror comic that they put ROM into. ROM issue 33, speaking of toys, for three bucks. Also, I got these in today. These are trading cards. These are trading cards of Big Rig Jake Brake and Lemon Juice McGee. That's right. Wrestling cards. Show us to the front real quick. That's right. Lemon Juice McGee, a... Uh, Wrestling manager extraordinaire. I may have something to do with. Uh, I'm going to insert these randomly. I've got a little stack of these I brought with me today. I'm going to insert these randomly into comics. Into comics, people who buy books today. I'm going to randomly. You're not guaranteed to get one, but uh, I'm going to put them just whenever I feel like I'm just going to stick them in a comic. All right, this is the F book. This is the Amazing Spider-Man 207 for $10. Uh, that was already marked $14, so I'm not going to mark that down uh, lower than what it is. Um, no, I'm not. This is the Marvel 2-in-1 Presents the Thing and Mr. Fantastic from the past into the present. Also, Skull the Slayer. And there is Mr. Fantastic and the Thing, and they are battling a pterodactyl outside of a space shuttle launch. Uh, it's issue 36 of Marvel 2-in-1, which they're about to relaunch in the Marvel Universe. It's a 35-cent cover from 1977. We're going to put it out for just $4 right now. Four bucks. For the Marvel 2-in-1 featuring the thing. Put it right there in the F-spot. Oh, 
I'm going to show off the comic in the close-up window real quick for you guys. I'm going to get the other mic and uh, talk about that right now. All right. Here, there it is. All right, I'm going to take this down, take the price off, and I'm going to show this book off to you. This is Fantastic Four, issue 611. It is a 9.8 CGC. It is signed by Stan Lee and Ryan Stegman. And funny thing enough, Ryan Stegman makes like a little Stegosaurus as his uh, as his signature, and that's the Stan Lee signature. This is also the Susan G. Komen uh, for a Cure variant cover, and uh, so that's Sue Storm in the uh, white and pink, and the Fantastic Four is in the pink as well. Uh, Christopher Ver Christopher variant cover. Jonathan Hickman story, Ryan Stegman art, John Tyler Christopher cover. Uh, the last issue, this is the last ever issue of the Fantastic Four that was ever printed. They're going to relaunch it in the next year or two, I'm sure. But this is the last issue of the book. Uh, it's the Susan G. Komen for the Cure National Breast Cancer Awareness cover from that time as well. It's a 9.8 double signed for $325. All right, I'm sure you guys have seen the trailer for The New Mutants at this point. Well, this is The New Mutants, issue number one. Number one, 60 cent cover of The New Mutants. This is the team they're using in the movie. You got Sunspot, Danny Proudstar, um, Feral, or Wolfsbane, whichever one. I'm not sure which one they're using. Of course, Cannonball, um, and Magic. This is uh, issue number one of the New Mutants. It's issue number 60 from 1982. It is going to be $15. $15 for that. I'm going to put it up here. Take down the A book. For five, the Detective Comics, and we'll put up the New Mutants issue one for fifteen. There. There we go. Uh. <laughs> I got you, Kick Pan. You got the New Mutants. Yeah, I saw that in the pile. I was like, oh, that's a good one. Also have some uh, other New Mutants related uh, movie comics coming up shortly as well. <laughs> I see. I see what you did. I see what you did. We're gonna put the Detective Comics back up uh, for four. You're playing the logic game, but mm, I'm not logical in the slightest. <laughs> oh, yeah, so you're ready. You're ready for it. And we're getting next. Weekly superheroes for five. We're going to mark the Legion down to just $3. $3 for that 50 cent 272 of the Legion of Superheroes. Uh, Rednecks about vampires. It's about vampires who live in the South and uh, run a barbecue joint. And then things happen. Awesome, awesome things. All right. Let's 
take down the losers. This is uh, Our Fighting Forces, issue number 149 for five. I'm going to take that down. And I'm going to put out Magic, issue number one. Ileana, of course, another character is going to be in the New Mutants movie. She's a blonde-haired girl. Storm and Ileana, Magic, number one in a four-issue miniseries. That is six dollars. Green Lantern issue for six. We'll mark down GL one fifty five to just four bucks. Put that back out in the nine spot. H for six is the Chris Star. We'll mark him down too. We'll mark him down also to four. G is Spider Woman. Not looking at really below that. And this is The Incredible Hulk, issue 204. It's going to be $4. That's the G-Book. Uh, F is ROM, issue 33. Uh, Tommy, if you would, um, please call the store when you get the chance. This is Captain America and the Falcon, issue 173, side by side with the X-Men. Make way for the Marvel Age of Comics Phase 2 in a deadly combat with Nick Fury and his full head and his hell-raising agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Sh get them. Shoot to kill. There you go. They're trying to kill Cap, Falcon, and the X-Men. And uh, things are happening here. It's 173. Uh, there is some wear down here to the cover, so we're going to put it out very affordably at just three bucks. I'm going to take down the uh, ROM for three, and we're going to put out the Captain America and the Falcon for three. That's going to be the new F book. I got a big Marvel first appearance here, especially if you're a fan of the Netflix shows that have been on as of late. This is a very relevant first appearance for you. I'm also pricing it affordably, so it'll be a nice one to add to your collection, just to have and to hold till death do you part or you decide to sell. This is Marvel Premiere featuring Iron Fist. This is number 17. It's a 25-cent cover. Kung Fu versus Cold Steel in the Citadel of Vengeance. You've killed, you've plundered, and now you must pay. And he's taking people out. The reason this is important, this is the very first appearance of Colleen Wing. That's right. The first appearance of Colleen Wing, who, of course is in the uh, Iron Fist TV show and the Defenders as well.
We're going to put this out for just $12, and we're going to put it out here in the ink spot. This is in uh, fine condition. Looks great. A little bit of wear to the spine, but not much. $12 for that issue. F3 to Kingpin. Thank you, sir. Whoop. This is Brave and the Bold issue 56. The Flash and the Martian Manhunter, or the Manhunter from Mars, is what they're calling him at this time. Flash, look what's coming through the capsule wall. An evil mutation. Manhunter. A, a hybrid of me. That's right. There's Manhunter and there's Flash, and there's a mix of the two together. Time Capsule, International Fair, 1964. 12 cent issue from 64. Uh, there is wear here. There's uh, some staining up in this area. Uh, there's also someone wrote 22 or a Z. There's a mark on it from like a, uh, what a crayon or something. But we're going to put it out affordably. It's going to be just five bucks. Silver Age, Brave and the Bold for $5. in the close-up window that is the fantastic four issue 611 the last issue ever a fantastic four up to now i mean it's the last one they printed and uh that is the uh, susan g komen for a cure variant cover with sue storm on the front and it is double signed and authenticated by stan lee signed by stan lee and artist ryan stegman who does the interior artwork 325 dollars for that And we've sold out of this. This is Batman White Knight. Batman White Knight um, is issue number one. This is the uh, first cover here. We didn't have the first. Last night we sold a B cover. We didn't have any of the A cover. We had it for a while. We out sold them out on the sale immediately. This thing's awesome. Sean Murphy does the artwork and co-writing it. And uh, it's basically the tale of the Joker. Batman starts going over the edge. And the Joker has found a way to kind of rein in his psychosis so he's going to become the white knight of gotham it's pretty awesome this is uh batman white knight number one and there's a new villain going to be created specifically during the series it's going to be an actual batman rogues villain from here on out batman white knight number one for cover price of just four dollars this is a newer comic but it's a good one we've had one copy because somebody didn't they just didn't want it in their pull box so i was like well we'll sell it to you guys batman white knight number one for four I don't know, George. I would say it depends on how they're treated, I would think. Let's take down the Legion. I'm going to put a White Knight up here in the D spot. Yeah, I mean, I, I know people have had them redone because of, like, catastrophe or having them broken, but I don't know. As far as weather and time, you know, being in relation, maybe the glue breaks down? I don't know. I've never heard of it. You 
anyway, how are you today, George? How's your Thursday going? Good. Glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. Uh, this is the A book. This is the Detective Comics issue 488 for four dollars. I'm going to take that down, and I'm going to put up Uncanny X Men 222 on the cover. There's from 1987. That is Wolverine about to plunge his claws into the chest of Sabretooth. It's five dollars for the A book. Here for six is the uh, X-Men for six. I'm going to pull that down. This is Doctor Strange, issue number 63 for $3. Got a really cool uh, kind of a sketch cover there. Uh, you can see all the pencil lines and stuff. Really nice. Doctor Strange for three bucks. That's going to be the B-Book. Getting ready for Halloween Comic Fest. I like it. Very cool, man. What are you uh what are you dressing up for, George? What are you dressing up as, George? This is the Unknown Soldier, issue 212. No, don't shoot. I'm the Unknown Soldier, doomed by the one disguise I can't take off. There you go. He's about to be shot because they, well, they don't know who he is. He's because his face. He's not the Unknown Soldier to them. The Joe Kubert cover, Unknown Soldier 212. That's going to be $4. We'll put that up in the C spot. I'm going to have to see pictures of this, George. I'm going to have to see photographs of, of this in existence. It sounds cool. I'm going to put the Action Comics 354 back up for just... $10, $10 for a Silver Age issue of action. I'm going to take down the uh, Batman White Knight. If somebody wants it, you can claim it. It is a newer book, but I just thought you guys might be down for it. This is the uh, Storm and Ileana Magic issue number one. I'll mark that down one time to just, well, actually, I'm going to do something else. Here we go. Of course, Ileana is going to be in New Mutants. This is her first miniseries, Storm and Ileana Magic. Number one and number two. Number one and number two here. I guess she's about to fight Sabretooth. Weird. Or not Sabretooth, the Nightcrawler. It's a one and two. You get both issues for You 
get one and two of magic for just eight dollars. Makes them four bucks a piece. I'm going to put them right here in the J spot. Here for four is the Green Lantern. Nobody taking the Green Lantern for four? Holy cow. All right, well, I'll pull it down. Obviously, no interest. Obviously, no interest. It's in very fine plus condition. This is uh, Marvel Team Up number 74. It's featuring Spider Man and the not ready for primetime players. That's right. Dan Aykroyd, John Belushi, Jane Curtin, Garrett Morris, Bill Murray, Lorraine Newman, Gilda Radner, plus Lorne Michaels and Stan Lee himself. Belushi, no, that Samurai's for real. Live from New York, it's Saturday night. That's right. This is Spider-Man teaming up with the cast of Saturday Night Live, including most of the Ghostbusters and Stan Lee. Very fine plus condition on this one. We're going to put this out for just $8. $8. Marvel team up featuring Spider-Man 74. That is going to be in the ice box. What's up, Colin? How's it going, man? How's your Thursday? Or how, I guess, how was your Thursday? And guys, just so you know, we did get the, uh, I got the wrestling trading cards in the mail today. With Lemon Juice McGee on here. Ba pow I'm going to be putting these randomly into comics that sell today. So, uh, if you want to possibly get a free wrestling card, buy some books. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Weather's good. It's been a good day so far. Fun times, fun times. We do need to get those shares out, though. We are going to be doing a giveaway, um... I'm going to do a giveaway in about 15 minutes. So uh, let's see if we can get some more eyeballs on the feed, get those shares out. I know a lot of you guys have shared it already. But remember, every public share is another chance to win. Chris Starr down for four. And I'm going to put out the Savage She-Hulk. The Savage She-Hulk issue number 15. Issue number 15 from 1981. Lady Kills the Blues. And she's singing. And, of course, uh, everybody's running. She-Hulk's getting taken on. Probably some type of supersonic power there. $3. That issue of the She-Hulk. That's the H book. Thank you, Colin. We appreciate that. Thank you, George. This is What If number 11. 60 cent cover on this. What If number 11 from 1978. Very fine condition on this. It looks great. And it's great to have signed. Uh, what if the original Marvel bullpen had become the Fantastic Four? Stan, even my fireballs won't stop that monster. Keep trying, Saul. Come on, Jack. Flo. Right. It's real life clobbering time. And that's Jack Kirby as the thing with a cigar in his mouth. That's Stan Lee as Mr. Fantastic. That's uh, Saul Bushima, I guess, as uh, the Human Torch. And uh, Flo, 
don't know who that is, uh, as the Invisible Woman. Um, but it's a what if with Stan Lee as Mr. Fantastic. Although the smoking Jack Kirby, the fact that he has a cigar in his mouth is insane. And uh, he drew this. This is a Jack Kirby drawing as well. Six dollars. Six dollars for G. I'm going to take down the Incredible Hulk for four. I ain't going to catch up on too much stuff this week's TV yet. That's probably what I'll do tomorrow for part of the day. And then, of course, I'll watch Stranger Things <laughs> whenever Netflix will let me. I feel like it'll be over overrun with people trying to watch it and getting choppy feed for the most part. Um, I had been going back. I didn't watch the last episode of Check It Out with Steve Brule, which I don't know if you guys watched that on Adult Swim, but uh, I love it. I just can't help it. And I've been going back and checking those out, literally. Um, I can't. Watch the uh, the season. The season's like six episodes, and they're eleven minutes. So I bought those on iTunes this morning, and laughed and laughed for a little while. Not bad, Nick. How are you, man? Uh, it's just me right now. There's nobody else here. It's just me. This is a private. It's an intimate cell between me and you guys. I know, Michael. I, I put it on my um, on my list of stuff. Add it to my watch list. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it. I've had too many people say it's good to not. I trust you guys. I'm gonna check it out. It's just a movie, right? So I can watch it in the morning before watching Stranger Things. She's good. She's on the men. She's on the men. She's staying at a friend's house and getting all healed up. She'll be back before you know it. <laughs> Movie. Okay, that's what I thought. When I clicked on it, because it clicked on it, it didn't seem like it. I don't remember it bringing up episode numbers. So, okay, cool. Cool, cool. I'm going to watch it, and then we'll have a big discussion about it on Monday. It'll be good time. It'll be good times. All right, I think it's about time for a giveaway. How about you guys? The Mind Hunter series. Is the Mind Hunter is that a uh, is that like a documentary series from Netflix or no? Briefly tell me what it is. I remember seeing it, but I, I can't remember if I read the description for it or not. No, okay. So it's an actual actual deal then. All right, our giveaway is going to be this X-Men issue 175. This is a 20th anniversary issue of the X-Men and uh, they are taking on the Dark Phoenix on the front of this. It's a good book. I'm giving it away for free. Put their name here. Pop on the computer.
Michael Davis. Michael Davis, you are the winner of the X-Men 175. Michael won this by liking and sharing out the feed. Uh, everybody congratulate Michael, and we will be doing more giveaways as the night goes on. Anybody like America? I did like American Gods, Colin. I only got about three episodes in. I've still got to go back and finish it up. But I did like it. I especially love the actors in American Gods. Let's see. Got a serial killer. Oh, sweet. Okay, I like that. That's up my alley. I dig it. I like some crime stuff. That sounds awesome. This is Detective Comics, issue number 500. They're almost to 1,000 now. This is issue 500. Um, seven special stories by tons and tons of creators. Um, actually, a ton of creators did this wraparound cover, and they all signed it. You got Joe Kubert, Dick Giordano, Jim Aparo, um, God, Walt Simonson, everybody here. They've all drawn characters on the cover of this. This is Detective Comics 500. It's tagged at 20 bucks. I'm putting it out for 16. 16 dollars. You can get it right now. Sitting on the Doctor Strange for three. We brought the Detective for 16 bucks. Detective Comics 500. Awesome doing that. Okay, cool. So it's like a true crime, kind of. I like that. Nice. Or at least set in. A realistic time frame of stuff. I, I, do, I do dig that. Nice. H3 to Amy. Thank you, Amy. Oh, cool. Man, Netflix has got a lot of stuff. It's kind of been low-key as far as them putting it out and promoting it. It's like you see Stranger Things all the time. You see the Marvel stuff all the time. There's lots of things in between that they've put out that they haven't really promoted that well. This is Superboy. Issue number six, New Adventure Superboy number six. I'm sorry, folks, but I have to leave Smallville. I'm needed more in Metropolis. Who is the surprise guest star who comes to lure Superboy from Smallville? Good question. Got some wear here overall, but oh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, especially for the price I'm going to put it at. Superboy issue six for only three bucks. That's the H book. F5 for Joanna. Thank you, Joanna. Are you just getting on the feed right now? Yeah. I can't remember if you like, I think you like Green Lantern, right? I had a Green Lantern out earlier.
This is uh, the new Teen Titans issue 24 from DC. There's Starfire and there's uh, Darkfire. Is that her name? Darkfire. Uh, the Omega Man team up with the Teen Titans. And that, of course, George Perez artwork on that. Teen Titans 24 featuring the Omega Man. That is only $3. That's the F book now. A5 to Joanna as well. Thank you, Joanna. This is going to be also $5 and go in the A spot. This is the Mighty Thor 319. The Zaniac craves blood. You may hate his name, but you'll never forget him. Like they created him specifically so you wouldn't like his name. He is the Zaniac. It is Thor 319 from 1982. That's going to be $5. with everything. Let me know what you're looking for. I'll do my best to put it up on the board. This is Green Lantern co-starring co Green Arrow. This is issue 107. 35 cent cover. Get back. I have to stop that comic and save your world will not be saved by such as you, the man who murdered our Green Lantern. Extra sneak preview of a new feature, Tales of the Green Lantern Corps. It's going to be $5 for Green Lantern issue 107 featuring Green Arrow. I'm just going to stick this sticker right here. I'm going to take down the Unknown Soldier. Unknown Soldier for $4. I'm going to pull that down. This is X-Men issue 87. That's right, 87. Not 187, 387, just 87. And that is Cyclops, Beast, Angel, Marvel Girl, and Iceman. The end of the dread mutant master or of the X-Men. Don't miss the fateful finale. X-Men 87, 20 cent cover. Uh, someone has wrote 15 on the front. You can see which is the reason that you're getting a deal on this book. Oh, C5 to Nathan. Thank you, Nathan. Put your name on here. Again, I'm the only one working the cell right now. So, um, just me. Just me all alone. <laughs> 
going to take a second to put, put names on things, but that clears me a spot for the X-Men, so I like it. I like it. This is X-Men 87. X-Men 87 for $19. Only 19 bucks for that issue of X-Men. E12 to Matthew. There we go. There you go. Matthew scored the first appearance of Colleen Wing. He knows what's up. Thank you, sir. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate you buying it. It was it's a cool book, but uh, we got it in on a collection. I think today from a guy. So, there we go. All right, this is uh, the losers. This is our fighting forces. Number um, 156, it was a 25-cent issue featuring the losers. When the losers take a furlough, it's goodbye Broadway, hello death. And then they are looking down in this tank, it looks like, and a number of uh, Nazi guns. That's Jack Kirby art on the front of this, and Jack Kirby art inside. That's right, Jack Kirby does this entire issue, which does make this more expensive than some of the other Fighting Forces issues. It's still affordable for Jack Kirby artwork, though. At only eight dollars, it's going to be issue one fifty six for eight. That's going to be the new ebook. Eight to Matthew. Oh, the two. Get the two magics, number one and number two together for eight bucks. That was a good purchase. And in the J spot, I'm going to put out this Justice League of America, issue number 121. What marriage would bring Earth's greatest superheroes to another world 25 trillion miles away? There we go. I'm guessing uh, Adam Strange, since it kind of looks like his suit. But it's whatever. Justice League of America, 121 for five bucks. Hey, Morgan, doing great. How are you on this fine Thursday? I don't think anybody's really been on here complaining about anything today. Everybody's having great times. J5 to Nathan.
This is the Amazing Spider-Man number 225. 225. It is from 1981. And uh, there you go. It's a really nice cover on this. The yellows, everything's super bright. No discernible wear. Very fine plus condition on this. We're going to put it out for just $8. Amazing Spider-Man, 225 for 8 Also a very memorable cover, I feel like. Team up. This is the uh, Spider Man Marvel team up with Spider Man, Stan Lee, and the cast of Saturday Night Live at the time in 1978. So you got John Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, um, Gilda Radner, and others all here. $8 for that one. I'm going to pull that down. Yes, it's going to be awesome. I want to see pictures. When you guys get it going, it is very cool sounding. This is uh, Justice League of America number 111. This is an oversized 100-page issue. Uh, at the time, it was 60 cents. A little more now. Uh, all new. Six superheroes clash with six super foes with the scales tip on the side of justice or death. Beware seven soldiers of victory. And what JLA member is accused of murder by a vengeful villain. And you've got all the regular Justice League here, plus the Injustice Gang of the World, the Tattooed Man, Shadow Thief, Kronos, Poison Ivy, Mirror Master, and the Scarecrow. $15 for Justice League 111. That's going to be in the I spot now for 15 I'm hoping we'll have a bunch of awesome costumes here Saturday for Halloween Comic Fest. Um, I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing... Online, what everybody's uh, what everybody's wearing. What issue is C? Matthew, this is X-Men issue 87. Issue 87. Pre-100, issue of the X-Men. The only discernible wear on it is the fact that someone wrote 15 on it years and years ago. But it's also only 19 bucks because of that. So there we go. It's a trade-off. They want costume. That's awesome. <laughs> Very cool. That's going to be a fun wedding. It's going to be a fun wedding. I'm surprised I don't see as many Halloween themed weddings. Like in my Facebook feed and stuff every year, as you would think would happen. Well, congratulations to them. That is cool. So what do you guys, uh, let me know some characters and stuff you guys are looking for. I mean, I've got a collection of stuff here that we're, you know, selling through. A lot of these books that we bought yesterday and today. Uh, but I can always grab more things as well. So let me know any characters and stuff you're after. I may have some handy I've not put out. Or I may have some that I can grab. I want to make sure you guys are getting what you want. Uh, Russell, this is issue number 500. 
Issue 500 of Detective. Massive oversized issue. Tons of artists. Tag for 20. I got it for 16. Yeah, Tommy, they've been making them for years and years. This is The Incredible Hulk, issue 383, The Incredible Hulk versus The Abomination. And uh, he looks angry. It is $3. This is from 1991. A book for five. Set up for three. Oh, condition. I say very fine, man. The corners aren't even bad on it. They aren't even rounded or anything. It's got the full spine on it, too, where it's a bigger book. And uh, we don't have any discernible read wear. Looks good. I'm going to take down the Mighty Thor 319 for And also, I've already put them in a few books. I've already put them in a few books throughout the day. Uh, the Lemon Juice McGee wrestling card is here. And I'm randomly inserting them into comics that get bought today. So, take advantage and get something insane with my face on it. I'm going to take down this issue of X-Men 87 for 19. I'm going to put up Uncanny X-Men number 162 for only $8. That is Wolverine on the front. This is the issue where he's trying to expel the brood from inside his body. It is $8. Trying to incubate an egg in him. He's trying to battle his way. His healing factor is working it off. Ha <laughs> Well, they'd have to verify it, and I'm just going to be like, nah, I didn't sign that. When they call me, I don't answer unknown calls either, so it's not going to work out for the CGC. This is Super Villain Team Up, issue 16. 40 cent cover from 1979. All new. The Red Skull and the Hate Monger together. You got a Nazi and a Klan guy just teaming up here. Prisoners of Skull Island. <laughs> this is a bad one, folks. Hopefully they get stopped. Uh, Super villain team up, issue sixteen, very fine condition though. We're gonna put up for just five dollars. All right, take it easy, Colin. You have a good night, man. I'm doing this action comics for ten. Put up the super villain team up for five. This is action comics three hundred and fifty four, twelve cent issue for ten dollars. I'm gonna pull that. D5 to Bill. Thank you, Bill. Mm -hmm. 
Next up for five, actually I'm going to put it for four. It's got a little bit of uh, wear to the top cover. Just discoloration, not really wrinkles or anything. This is Marvel 2-in-1, issue 15. Marvel 2-in-1 presents The Thing and Morbius. It's action if you've never thought you'd see it. Here's where you both get wiped out. The return of the living eraser. That's right. He erases things. It's actually a pretty cool effect on the cover. Hmm. Um, Marvel 2-in-1, 25-cent original cover, issue 15 for just 4 bucks. That's in the D spot. We are having a great week, Natty. Even more so that you're on the feed. How has your week been going? This is Daredevil, the man without fear. It is issue 250. Can even DD haunt the rampage of Bullet? I mean, he obviously does eventually. But he may have had trouble in this issue. Been going pretty good. I like it. So we got right here in the J spot. This amazing Spider-Man issue number eight. I'm going to mark this down to just six measly dollars. Six bucks, Amazing Spider-Man. It is issue number uh, 225. We're going to put it out here in the I spot. I'm going to take down the Just League for 15. It was marked 20. I'm going to take it down. As issue 111. 111 of Justice League. We got here in the H. Superboy. Nobody wanted Superboy issue four for three dollars. Check that out. What the heck is Jason Black? This is Savage She-Hulk issue nineteen. It is from nineteen eighty one. Double trouble for the She-Hulk. Don't miss designer jeans, and it's spelled G E N E S. It's wordplay. Here she is frozen. Here she is fighting some type of glue guy. It is uh, Savage She-Hulk issue nineteen for four dollars. This can be the H book. Right. Clever. Clever. This issue of What If, what if the original Marvel bullpen had become the Fantastic Four with Stan Lee and Jack Kirby as a couple members of the Fantastic Four. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to mark that down. To just $4. $4 for the G-Book there. Any jungle action or Black Panther? Uh, not currently. I may have some Avengers issues he's in. I'll check and see. G4 to Kingpin. Thank you, sir.
This is Marvel Team Up Annual. This is Spider Man and Moon Knight and Iron Fist and Power Man and Daredevil, Pawns of the Purple Man. You saw in Jessica Jones. Uh, this is Marvel Team Up Annual number four from 1981. That is $5. $5 for G. Uh, I don't see Nick at all. On what? That last book that sold? I don't have Nick on either of the computer or the phone. Mm, I don't know. Nick, you may have to uh, back out and come back in. I don't know. Facebook, man. Facebook's been weird the last little bit. I see that, Nick. Yeah. I don't know. King Finn, you want me to transfer that book over to Nick? Yeah, sorry, guys. Facebook, man, it's it's been a pain. The last few days, it's been off and on. Today's been the best so far of, like, being able to see everybody, but obviously there's still glitches. Okay. I'll transfer it over to him. There we go. I'll transfer that over to Nick. Thank you, guys. Helping each other out. Being cool. I dig it. What is I? All right. I is the Amazing Spider-Man number 225. Amazing Spider-Man 225 for $6. There's Spider-Man all swinging around that guy there. It is uh, from 1981. It's in very fine plus condition. Bro, we should take it's always trying to ruin our lives. It's uh it's a horrible it's a horrible place. It is. Everybody's everybody on our feet. I feel like most well, I would say 99% of the people on our feet are pretty cool about stuff, and I like that. Especially on uh, the new comic pre-sale night, you guys were super patient while the feed was being so crazy for us. Um I do have this Black Panther book. Uh, Bill, this came out this week. This is Black Panther 166. This is the new legacy issue of Black Panther. This is the draw your own variant cover of the Black Panther. The six steps to doll the Black Panther. Kind of like the old uh, how to draw comics the Marvel way, but they're funnier. Um, this is $5. $5 for this Black Panther variant comic. If you'd like that, you can put Black Panther for five in the feed, and I'll get it for you. I just brought it up because you were asking about Black Panther a minute ago. I know it's not older, but it's still cool. Let's see what we got here. Also for three, this is Green Lantern, issue number 30, Guerrilla Warfare. Today, these puny heroes, tomorrow the world. And that is Grodd, and he's got the Flash and Green Lantern taken out here. $3 for Green Lantern, issue 30 from 1992. We'll take on the new Teen Titans for three. We'll put that out as the F book for the Green Lantern.
Of course, in the close-up window, that is uh, the Fantastic Four, issue 611. It's a 9.8. That is the final issue of FF. That is the Susan G. Komen variant cover featuring Sue Storm. Uh, it is $325. It is signed by Stan Lee and artist Ryan Stegman. So Stan Lee, the creator of the Fantastic Four, signed it, and the artist of that issue, Ryan Stegman, signed it as well. It's double signed for $325. I'll drop a book. I'm going to take down the uh, the losers for eight, featuring the Jack Kirby uh, cover and interior art. And I'm going to put out the Incredible Hulk, king-sized annual number eight, the Maiden and the Monsters. That's Sasquatch and Hulk throwing down over a tree, and uh, that would be the Maiden. Uh, it is $5 for this, very fine plus condition, and a Marvel's TV sensation, which at the time he was. Five bucks for that Hulk annual. It's going to be the F book now. What is G5? G5, Kingpin. This is uh, Marvel Team-Up Annual Number 4 with Spider-Man, Moon Knight, Iron Fist, Power Man, and Daredevil taking on the Purple Man. Five to Kingpin. Thank you, sir. Thought that was a cool one myself. It's going to be three dollars and put in the G spot. That's right. This is What If, issue 35, what, from a 1982. What if Electra had lived, and what if Yellow Jacket had died? That is $3 for that issue of What If. That's in the G spot there.
see. Let me give you one. Uh, we're working our way to another giveaway. All we got to do, of course, is uh, lock the page up top and share the feed out. Every share you do is another chance to win. So uh, it never hurts, folks. It never hurts at all. I mean, I guess it could hurt. It's, I mean, it's a possibility. I don't know. Uh, it's Thursday afternoon. We've been selling some comics. It's been a good time. I like it. We should probably put out some more comics rather than sit down here. Probably, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably right. That's probably right. This is a nice one, like a really nice one. I'm going to show us up close to the camera. This is Uncanny X-Men 167. It is from 1982 with the, uh, the first of many deaths of Charles Xavier. You got Wolverine, Nightcrawler, Storm, Kitty Pride, Colossus, and, of course, Cyclops on the cover. Uh, there is no spineware, uh, barely at all, and it, just, it looks immaculate. I'm going to show this to you real close. Good one. It's a good one. Give it a hold. And we'll put out Uncanny X Men one sixty seven for twenty. Twenty dollars for that. Uncanny X Men or Amazing Spider Man for six. How about this? Had Amazing Spider Man, Amazing Spider Man one fifty six for four dollars. And there he is at a wedding, taking on uh, Mirage. Mirage is making it appear like there's more of him. We're gonna put that in the nice spot. I'm gonna take on this uh, Spider Man for six. It's pretty nice, and it's tagged nine bucks. This is Detective Comics, issue number 425. Detective 425. Uh, Death lurks in the wings as Batman plays a starring role in The Stage is Set for Murder. Introducing a new series, The Master Crime File of Jason Bard, The Open and Shut Case. Remember that for $7. Detective Comics, 425 for 7 We'll take on this Detective 500 for 16. B7 to Bill. Thank you, Bill. This is a uh, number one from Marvel Comics. 
from 1982, Camelot 3000. The time has come. There you go. Arthur, Merlin, aliens. It's all going down. Camelot 3000, number one, for just $4. That is going to be the B comic. What issue number is I? Uh, Bill, this is 156, number 156 for $4. Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, for four to Bill. Thank you, Bill. This is Action Comics, issue number 343, 12 cent Silver Age cover on this. From the center of the earth, a new menace challenges the Man of Steel, Eterno, gigantic immortal. More powerful than Superman himself. He wears some snazzy wrist-length gloves. Looks like he's getting punched hardcore in the side right there. We're going to put that for $12. Action Comics 343, 12 cent issue for $12. This is Super Villain Team Up. Super Villain Team Up, issue number seven. Doctor Doom and the Savage Submariner. Is this Dark Avenger hero or villain? A Clash of Titans. Doctor Doom, Namor, and the Shroud. The Shroud of Death. Just punching Doom right out. It is uh, very fine plus condition on this. It's going to be $5. Super Villain Team Up, number seven. Green Lantern for three, put that up for five. Knock this down for five. There we go. Condition on this action. It's got some uh, wear here and there, the staples, but that's about it. It was tagged for 20. I've got it out for 12. A very good plus to fly, a very good plus to find. There is, I can say the only wear is around the staples. Everything else is clean, the corners, all that. <sighs> Let's look on this side. Uh, he was in the green lantern group for a long time. Where he's been for hours. Sleeping. Why? Oh, gotcha. Do you know if anybody's scheduled to come in today? 
was my guess. Is she scheduled at six? <laughs> the Iron Fist one? I don't know what we're talking about. Uh, condition on G. Who's scheduled? What's going on? Okay. Uh, this is a very fine plus condition. This looks great. Looks great for G. G for three to Nick. Thank you, Nick. This is also for three. This is the Incredible Hulk, 254 from 1980. The Hulk faces four fantastic new enemies waiting for the UFOs. The UFOs' first appearance, possibly. That is G. That is three bucks for it. Oh, yeah, I had the Iron Fist up. That was the first Colleen Wing. That was in very fine plus condition. That looked great. That was a while back. Yeah, the first Colleen Wing. Yeah, I sold it a while back, man. It was good. I don't remember what issue number it was. Um, but yeah, it sold, I think, for 12. Were you wanting to know the issue number of it? Like I said, I'm the only one working, so we don't have it, like, in the spreadsheets yet. Uh, I think it was, like, 117. Uh, Marvel Marvel Premiere issue 17. Yeah, 17. 17. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Marvel Premiere 17. We were all kind of sort of wrong. This issue of X-Men, I'm going to take down for 20. I don't want to mark it down. I think we have this in the bins right now. Uh, there's $17. $17 for Uncanny X-Men 167. Put up here in the A spot. Incredible condition on that. Uh, this is Marvel Superheroes featuring the Incredible Hulk. It's issue number 83, 40 cent cover from 1979. A titan stalks the tenements. Hold your fire, man. It's all over. The Hulk is dead. There's Thunderbolt Ross directing traffic here. There is Iron Man, and there is the Hulk. There you go. Marvel Superheroes, 83, 40 cent cover for $4.
Uncanny X-Men for eight. And we'll put uh, these Marvel superheroes up here for four. Mitchie just jumped like sideways into this chair. Almost face planted into the side of it. But hey, it's fine. It happens. It happens. This is Dragon Slayer number one. Dragon Slayer number one for Marvel. It's a 50 cent cover price on this. Dragon Slayer issue one. And uh, the official Marvel Comics adaptation of the spectacular Paramount Disney motion picture. Dragon Slayer number one. It's going to be three bucks. Three bucks for this. So what are you guys doing right now? It's getting closer to the 5 o'clock hour here at the store. What are you guys doing? Are you at work? Are you at home? Are you uh, in traffic? Are you on a mountain somewhere in Tibet with a sniper rifle trying to take down your mortal enemy as he's climbing an opposite mountain? What's going on? Let me know. Working as always. Feel you, Nick. All right, it's almost 5 o'clock. We're going to give something away. I'm going to give away this. Star Wars Princess Leia, number one, first print from Marvel Comics. Somebody's going to win this for free simply for uh, liking the page and sharing the feed. I'm going to grab the name here.
Matthew McHugh. Matthew, you, sir, have won this book. Matthew McHugh. Everybody congratulate Matthew in the feed. This is Detective Comics 425, I think. It's a pretty pretty rough to on the cover here a little bit. It is the unmasking of Barbara Gordon. Um, the unmasking of Batgirl. Highway to Nowhere with Batman. The Bush Trackers and the Unseen Clue. Uh, it is in rough shape. I'm going to put it out for just $3. But it still is a really early issue of Detective, so well worth your time. That is the F book right there. I'm going to take down the supervillain team up featuring Dr. Doom and the Submariner issue seven for five. Really nice quality on that book. Next book is going to be $5. This is The Incredible Hulk, 333. This is a Todd McFarlane drawn issue of The Incredible Hulk, which he did far before he did Amazing Spider-Man. Incredible Hulk, 333 from 1987 for five. Take down the She-Hulk for four. We'll put out Hulk for five from H. Pull down the She-Hulk. Yeah, Alex, they go for three, five, and four. Um, the number is the dollar amount of the comic, and the uh, letter spot is the spot of the comic. So it should be like B4 or whatever to claim the item. Um, let me see. You want to know G, E, and C. All right, C is Marvel Superheroes featuring the Incredible Hulk number 83. And there's Iron Man and the Hulk together. That's $4. Uh, e. E is uh, the Incredible Hulk king-sized annual number eight for $5 with Hulk and the Sasquatch on the front. And G. G is the Incredible Hulk 254. And, of course, I just put that other issue of Hulk, the McFarlane issue, right there in the H spot. To claim an item, all you would do would be, like, put B for 4 or H for 5 or C for 4, whatever you'd like to claim it to claim a book, and uh, we'll pull them for you. Glad to have you on the feed as well, by the way. Any other questions you have, feel free to let me know. No problem. In fact, I'm going to pull this issue of Hulk down. So we've got another one up there beside of it. Put some nothing to explain.
This is Green Lantern 19. Green Lantern 19. Um, Alan Scott, the original Green Lantern Returns. And there he is with the other Green Lanterns. Special 50th anniversary issue. That is going to be $4. Well, actually, no, it's going to be $3. G is going to be 3 Oh, Katie needs the Hulk. Okay, I got your Hulk right here. All right, you need H. That was G. You need H. F. C. And E. All right, I got you, Katie. I got you. No worries. <laughs> What is up, Katie? How's it been? I'm the only one here tonight. I'm, I'm the only one here till I think like 6.30, so I got to write all this stuff down. So just continue to talk to me while I'm uh, writing names on here. All right, so we got some spots. We got some spots to put some books up. So how have you been, Katie? How is your world? See, this is going to be, uh, this is Spider-Woman, issue three, issue three of Spider-Woman. This is going to be $5. It's from 1978, issue three for five. That's the C book. For four, this is Marvel Team-Up, issue 47, featuring Spider-Man and The Thing, Taking on the Basilisk. That's going to be four. That's going to be the F book. Also for four from Marvel, this is Sergeant Fury and that's Howling Commandos. Issue 110, 20 cent cover for four. Oh, the flu. Oh, sorry to hear that. This is going to be $3. This is What If Daredevil Became an Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. This is What If Issue 28. Also, What If Ghost Rider Were Separated from Johnny Blaze. That's the H book.
<laughs> awesome. Get some care packages in to keep you busy. I like that. Of course, there in the close-up spot, this is Fantastic Four. This is issue number 611 of the Fantastic Four. Uh, this came out in December of 2012. This is the final issue of Fantastic Four. Not only that, this is the uh, Susan G. Komen variant cover for breast cancer awareness. It is $325. It's 9.8. It's signed by Stan Lee and artist Ryan Stegman, all for $325. C5 to Katie. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> it works for me. It works for me. This is uh, Marvel Team Up. Marvel Team Up issue 55. It's 30 cent cover. It's from 1976 featuring Spider Man and Warlock. That's going to be $4. Very fine condition on that. Condition on H. Uh, Nick, it's in a, um, it's in very good condition. There's some, uh, stain spottage there. That's why it's only three bucks. But as far as, uh, no, like, folds or wrinkles or wear or anything. Just some discoloration. C for four to Katie. Thank you, Katie. It's also $4. This is the Savage She-Hulk, issue 14 from 1980, guest starring Hellcat and the Man-Wolf, Peril on a Subatomic Planet. Four bucks, that issue of uh, Savage She-Hulk. So, being sick, I imagine you probably slept a lot. Did you catch up on any TV, any comics, catch up on anything that you might have uh, not had a chance to do otherwise? This is the only bonus of being sick is that if you're, if you're tolerable being awake, you can generally catch up on some things. Binged a lot of TV. Anything you can recommend? Anything awesome that you checked out? Or was it just like Murder, She Wrote all week?
Hey, I wasn't knocking it, Nick. I wasn't knocking it. <laughs> That's true. I'd feel you on that. I do that a lot, too. Especially when I'm like stressed out. I don't want to watch something new. I just want to watch something that I can watch and know I'm going to enjoy. And I don't have to think about it or concentrate on it too hard. Because I've seen it. Terra Nova and Firefly. Ooh. That makes me wonder, Katie. Do you have all of our Firefly action figures and stuff that we carry in the store? Because <laughs> if not, you might need them. I'm just saying. cat's over here just waiting to get into trouble. Like, it's just laying here, and it's staring at something intently. And it's looking at me. I think it's looking at one of these post-it notes it's going to try to rip down. It's going to do It's going to tear up all these comics. I'm going to go insane. All right, guys. We've dropped down to uh, five people. It has uh, dropped a lot. Kenner? Uh, Funko. Funko. Yep. Well, now, they have the ones that look like the old Kenner ones. They have those. But then they have the, like, articulated ones as well. I almost just forgot these are Funko. Yeah, I've got, like, the Mal Reynolds like this, where he's really articulated and has the guns. They're uh, Funko. Actually, I have one right here. I just happened to from a little while back, like a few days ago. I just saw it this today when I came in. It was under the under the table. I was like, "Oh, that's still here." <laughs> oh, you haven't seen these? I'm going to show you one of these. Show you one of these. Here we go. This is the uh, Malcolm Reynolds. Really articulated six-inch figure like a Marvel legend. He does have a, a pistol and a rifle. We've got a few more of these as well. Uh, he is uh, $22. $22 for Malcolm Reynolds. Really good likeness. I think General Giant does all their digital sculpting for the figures for Funko. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I feel like I cultivate quite a bit of stuff, so I try to I try to have everything available as as I can. Normally, what I'm doing right now is Katie's. I'd be sending somebody hit in here to go get all the rest of those, so I could show them to you. But I'm the only one working the cell right now, so. I'm going to show this off real quick, too. I only have one of these left available. This is the uh, Jean Grey issue number eight slash Astonishing X-Men number two. It's Jean Grey issue eight, uh, lenticular from this week. And it's got Jean Grey with her hands over the eyes of Emma Frost. And then it switches over to Astonishing X-Men two from Joss Whedon, which was um, Emma Frost with her hands over the eyes of Cyclops. Really cool transitional colors.
this is the actual final lenticular we have from this week and the final copy. This is $8. $8 for this one. go up front Let's see those guys see they're hanging back back here you shouldn't cause problems back here man you should go up there wreak havoc or just lay down and show your belly it's whatever you want to do all right guys it is dying down I'm going to uh, shut down the cell for a little while, and I'll be back with a bit with some more awesome stuff for you guys. And um, I'm going to get these uh, comics you guys have bought put into the system, and I'm going to get this cat up front so that way uh, he can get fed and uh, hopefully watched by them up front. <laughs> you, you, you like to tear things up. It's not my fault. H3 to Katie. Thank you, Katie. Yeah, I know, right? That's all it takes is me just talking to the cat. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to pull the, the cords out of the wall right now for the cameras. All right. We'll be back in a little bit. 